Welcome to New Hope Presbyterian Church. I am Pastor Shanetta Goodjoin. I love being a part of this church and being the pastor because I get to be with people who sincerely seek to share the love of Jesus Christ with the community through service, through mission, and just through genuinely caring about others in community. Over 10 years ago, a multicultural African-American-led congregation was recognized by the Presbytery of Los Ranchos and the Orange County community as a new church development, and New Hope was born. The new church went from a weekly Bible study group growing from as few as four people to as many as 20. Worship services met twice a month and received such favorable response from supporters and visitors that I was installed in 2017 as the first pastor. We are the church that not only could, but we did. Now, let me introduce you to some of our members. Hallelujah. Having my children grow up in this congregation in this atmosphere is priceless. I'm here with my children so that they get to witness out loud what kindness looks like, what um, love looks like, no matter what you may look like, uh, no matter what you may be going through, they get to see that. And they'll come home and they'll tell me, you know, mommy, this happened. And I gave her a hug or I told her it was going to be okay. And that's because it's here where they heard and felt it first. Maybe about a few months after I started at New Hope, I lost my job. And I remember, I'm like, I don't know what to do. You know, people came out of their pockets with money and just say, hey, here's money, to, you know to move to help you get by or you know I'm gonna pray for you I'm gonna call or hey do you want to just come hang out for this day and I felt like oh wow that's like something that I would think my mom would do oh this is true community this is not just you matter these aren't just words I walked away from the church for a long time and it wasn't until I found new hope that I started to come back to church regularly and feel that community and really feel a connection to God and my spirituality and I think that that's because new hope fosters that sense of love, that sense of acceptance, that sense of I'm human too. Shanetta is very clear, she's, she says she's not a perfect person and that is so refreshing to hear a pastor say something like that because it means that we are all the same and I don't have to come to church and put on a face and pretend that things are okay that are not and I don't have to have those hypocritical moments where it's like, oh, the Bible says this, so this is how I should treat other people. No, this church is all about everybody deserves love, everybody deserves kindness, everybody deserves acceptance, and that's all that matters. Well, I can describe it in one word, love. That is the soul of New Hope. When I'm here, I feel the love of the church. I can take it with me everywhere I go. One of the reasons I show up is because I love to sing, right? And so we have a wonderful gospel choir and I've been singing with the gospel choir for the last three years. I think that the music is really a ministry. So it's not just people singing words, it's about the spirit moving through the music. And when you come to New Hope, one of the things that we're really intentional about in the choir is singing with our whole hearts and focused on Christ. My faith is strengthened by music. So when I come to New Hope and I hear the music and I know that the song selections are intentional, it is about a message about God's love for everyone. Given the work that I go through every day, it's so stressful. And when I come in and that's the first thing that I hear, that sets the tempo and the tone for the rest of the service. We are a lively church and the music gets us there. We have people who, you can see it in their faces when they start singing. Music makes them happy. If it makes them happy, they transmit it to us and we get involved. We clap our hands, we stand up, we sing with them. It's just joyous. 
I knew we wanted to have this dynamic choir uh, that was here week in and week out, praising the Lord. I am very pleased to say that this is not only a choir, uh, it's a music ministry and it's a family, all together wrapped in one. I look forward to working with our youth, knowing that what they are doing, the ministry that they're providing, is a ministry that's going to touch people beyond the four walls of this church and on out in the community and, and probably worldwide. Music is just important and the emphasis that we place on it is no different. It's what we get to do to tell our story of how we love God and also to we use music to encourage, to inspire, to uplift. We come in, we're carrying a lot of stuff from the week. We don't even really understand what we need sometimes. And then there will be a song. It is ushering in the worship. And that song touches you and you find yourself crying or you find yourself waving your hand or you find yourself just an uplifting spirit of joy. And you don't understand how much that really ushers in the ability to worship, to make community, to really have that spiritual awakening with God each week. It's genuine. We sing it as though we're living it. And we want the congregation as well as our visitors to know what we stand for and we want you to be a part of it. New Hope is really clear that social justice is part of the mission of Christ, right? And that in order to be Christ in the world, we have to advocate for justice and that that is part of who we are and that's part of how we show love. And what I love about New Hope is that we're thinking both about our local community and the global community. That's one of the things that I like is their outreaches and their ministries don't just include New Hope Church, it includes the local school district, it includes homeless shelters, it, it includes the LGBT community. It just reaches out irregardless of where you're coming from. You're just loved right where you are. Coming um, from a you know traditional African American community church in that I grew up in, um, that's where social justice started. That's where social justice began um, in the church. And I think it's important that, you know, again, our children see, you know, what we stand for, um, that we stand up for injustice against, you know, those who may look different or love different or, you know, be different in another way. I like that New Hope is all inclusive, including race, color, gender, or sexual orientation. And that's really important to me because I believe that we're, we're all God's children. All are welcome, that all can come and worship and be part of a community and experience New Hope as a, as a close family. New Hope is a church that gets involved. We don't just talk about what we're gonna do. We don't talk about serving the homeless. We actually do it. We are feet on the streets. So you find justice when you can be with a community that accepts the fact that we are like one another in some ways and different from one another in other ways, and that means that we all matter to each other in all ways. New Hope is family, That's, uh, I, and that emanates from the, the top where you have a pastor as busy as she is, that will reach out and call and say, you know, hey, you know, I heard you didn't pass that exam. How are you doing, you know? We're here for you. What's amazing about the family here is um, it's not necessarily what I would have thought my family would look like, but it's absolutely what I thought my family would feel like. I am part of a multiracial family. My husband is from Peru and our two older daughters are African American. They don't live with us here, so they don't come all the time, but I wanted a place where if they came, they would be welcomed. We were at a previous church before New Hope, and it was a large church with a huge following. And I just felt kind of like a number there. And here, I think, because it is a little smaller church that 
everyone knows everybody. I very much feel like I could call any member of this congregation at any time and they would answer the phone and they would talk to me no matter what I'm going through. I remember the very first, my very first visit here with myself, uh, my two daughters, my two grandchildren. And we sat at the very last seat in the church. We, we were new, we didn't want to, you know, expose ourselves, so to speak. And when it was time for passing the peace of Christ, everyone in the church got up and came all the way to the back of the church to welcome us in. And what was most impressive to me at all was that the pastor did it. And all we could do was look at one another and just smile. It was just such a warm feeling. And at that point is when myself and my children said, this is the place. And we've been in large churches and small churches. Um, this is the church I've seen the most caring ever. The people really care that you're there. The commitment that is there to the con congregants from Chinetta really makes a big difference and really does promote the caring and the ownership that all of us feel towards New Hope. And it allows me to breathe when I come here. It's usually um, after having a really long, hard week and to be embraced by people who genuinely care about me is, is really important and it inspires me and gives me the fuel I need to, to keep going. It's like this comfort zone for me. So when, I, when I'm, I'm getting filled spiritually, so when I do go out in the world, I don't take it personal because I know that I have a family that's gonna support me no matter what. I think what's special about New Hope is that you can ask the questions. I think that's a big issue with a lot of millennials. To me, that makes me closer when I feel comfortable in a place where I can say, you know, maybe I don't feel too good about this or have a question about this, and I'm not told that, oh, you don't love God or you're not a true believer. New Hope is really a place where you matter. Uh, that's not just a slogan, it's true of every moment that I've been here. I get emotional about it too, just, I think about how much we mattered the first time we came in and people knew I had this brand new little baby and I had a mom at home who had just had a stroke and we were a newly wed couple, we had only been married a year <laughs> and we're faced with this challenge and people just came up and made us matter and made it apparent that we were family and that it was important that we were loved on. So it's a place where you do really matter. It goes so much deeper than a feeling of family or acceptance here. It, to me, I feel like I'm with the people I'm going to be in heaven with. That's, that's how deep the relationships are here. You would want to come because the word is delivered like you've never heard it before. Right now I'm very tearful. My heart is so warm because I know what I'm going to receive when I walk through that door. It's a blessing. Pastor Chinetta delivers her sermons in a storytelling style. And it's something that we, me as a female, can identify with. A lot of her stories are things that many people have gone through and we can identify with her. This is an environment and a place where you can come into a place of safety, into a place of warmth and acceptance and lack of judgment by others. New Hope feels like home. And I think all of us are yearning for um, relationships, connections, things that are familiar or comfortable, and New Hope represents that. So to be able to come, even as a newcomer, and know that we're gonna receive you, and we wanna get to know you, and there's a place for you here. Come and experience New Hope. The music, the worship, the praise, the service, the witness, going out into the world, sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with other families. We'd love to see you here.